the students of Kotolengo Special School present here the parable of Good Samaritan. A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. He fell into the hands of robbers who stripped him, beat him and went away leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down on that road and when he saw him he passed by on other side. So likewise a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near to him. When he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on him. Then he put him on his own animal. Thank you.
the person sedan ring don't fall don't walk there and I will fall down and drown so Jesus said come so he came so once what had happened he was walking he looked at Jesus' face and then uh, next he looked up down up down then he was about to fall then he was drunk down and saying lord help me lord said yes he said yes my child so he just did like this and he picked up him up and once he was in the boat the, the big storm just stopped Jesus was in the temple in Jerusalem teaching when the Pharisees and religious leaders came up to him. They challenged his authority and Jesus said, what do you think about this? Hey, son. son, go out and work in the vineyard today. Uh. The son answered, no, I won't go. mind and went anyway. Hey son. Hey son. You go. And he said, yes sir, I will. Yes, I will go. But I feel sleepy. Okay, I'll sleep. Then Jesus asked, which of the two obeyed his father? They replied, the first. Then Jesus explained his meaning in telling this story. Jesus told them that people who sinned would get into the kingdom of God before they did. This is because the Pharisees and religious leaders didn't believe the people who God sent to tell his message. Jesus continued to talk to the Pharisees and religious leaders. They realized he was telling the story against them, and they wanted to arrest him. But they were afraid of the crowds because the crowds listened to Jesus and believed that the message he was speaking was from God. What should I do to inherit eternal life? What does the law of Moses say? How do you read it? You must love your Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. And love your neighbors as you love yourself.
A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho and he was attacked by bandits. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up and left him half dead beside the road. By chance, a priest came along. But when he saw the man laying there, he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. The temple assistant walked over and looked at him laying there. But he also passed by on the other side. Then a despite Samaritan came along. And when he saw the man, he left compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then, then, he put the man on his own donkey. And, and took him to an inn. Where he took care of him. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Look after this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. While all the people stood on the shore, then he told them many things in parable, saying, A farmer went out to sow his seeds. As he was scattering the seeds, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered away because they did not have any root. Other seeds fell among plants which grew up and choked the plants. Seeds fell on good soil where it produced a crop, a hundred, sixty or thirty times which was sown. Whoever has ears, let them hear. The message about the kingdom and does not understand it, 
the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their heart. This is the seed sown in the path. The seed falling on rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. The seed falling among the thrones refers to someone who hears the word but the worries of his life and the deceitfulness of wealth show the word, making it unfruitful. Falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces crop yielding a hundred, sixty or thirty times what was sown. The Parable of the Great Feast. This script is written for students to read and perform as a class. The goal here is to help them imagine to what it would be like to be a part of the Parable of the Great Feast. The cast for the Parable are Master, Servant, Guest number 1, Guest number 2, Guest number 3, The Poor, Crippled, Blind and Lame, People of the Highways and People of the Hedgehogs. The master of the house prepared a great feast. He called his servants to extend invitations to many people. Go, say to the, those who are invited now, come, everything is ready now. Yes, sir. So the servant went to invite the first guest. Come, for everything is ready now. I have bought a piece of land. I must go out and see it. Please. Accept my regrets. So the servant went to invite out another guest. Come, 
long for everything is ready now. I have bought five yokes of oxen. I must go and try them out. Please accept my regrets. So the servant went out and invited the third guest. Come, for everything is ready now. I have been married, therefore I cannot come. So the servant returned to the master to report what the invited guest had said. Sir, I have extended your invitation to all your guests, but none of them will come. Go at once now to the streets, lanes and bring the crippled, blind and lame and poor now. The servant went out and did as his master ordered. Sir, what you have ordered has been done and there is still room. Go out into the roads and lanes and compare people to come into my house so my house may be filled. So far I tell you, none of my guests who are invited will taste my dinner. The servant went out to find the people of the highways and the head crews who are ashamed to live in the city. Come and join my master's great feast. Hooray! Hooray! Let's go! God wants us in heaven with him. Like the man in the story, God has planned and created something incredible for those who follow and love him. Heaven is so amazing that God wants everyone to be in there. The doors are wide open for everyone and all those who accept his invitation will enjoy the feast with him. He called me to